Once we've learned about a person's life story, their strengths and the ways they need support, we can use that knowledge to create meaningful activities that are tailored to their specific needs and interests. At home, there are opportunities to create activities that the person can do both on their own and with others. In social groups, it's important to develop smaller group activities based on the interests that people share. Offering a variety of activities supports the independence and decision-making skills of people living with dementia. Everyday tasks such as setting the table, preparing morning tea, and cleaning up after a meal, or hanging up clothes, are all activities too. Intergenerational activities provide wonderful opportunities for people with dementia to engage in meaningful activities. Listening to young children read, storytelling, and sharing skills are ways of spending meaningful time together. Think about ways your social group could partner with a local school or play group to create opportunities for sharing activities with younger members of the community. Uh, the benefits for our children are that they get the opportunity to work with others out of the school and understand that their learning is not just about the, what happens in their four walls of their classroom and that they've got to learn from many people and from many generations. And of course we hope that the benefits for our friends from Grevillea are that they feel that they are contributing to children's learning because they complete spelling activities and maths and they have games and they, and they have a lot of fun. At home, think about ways your loved one can share activities with younger people. This one's gonna be easy, okay. you can do this one. I can do it, no you show me because I, okay. your fingers are smaller than mine. You can do it, see so you can do it easy. Working on projects for particular charities or events can also provide opportunities for purposeful engagement. In planned activity groups, there are many roles or tasks that people with dementia can do on a regular basis. There might be some surprises for you. I'm going to get Barbara, that lovely lady there, uh, to pass on the name tag. And the idea of the name tag is to actually have an open communication between clients. There we are. Come on, gorgeous! <laughs> you mean you're going to pin it on for me? Having a meaningful role can help people to feel they are doing something worthwhile. Roles also give people an opportunity to use their skills. However, it's important to know that the person has the ability to carry out the role before inviting them to do so. People with dementia can also have meaningful roles as leaders within the group. Now, what kind of relationship do you think that is going on between them? Um, the first time she's going to dance. This is the first time she's going dancing. Okay. With a gentleman. With this gentleman. Okay. So this could be a sergeant or whatever. The, I need the two certainly. Okay. The number of bands yes. And, yes. And think. How old do you think she is? What do you think, Vince? How old she is? Marianne, it's an old picture and it's in the past. Robert, in the 50s. We work with his uh, uh, fingers to exercise and to make uh, him stronger and uh, try to grip the small item and squeeze. I had a bit of an issue with staff coming on board in the beginning, but they've all now accepted and really enjoy doing it with all the clients. They see that the clients can do things for themselves, whereas before the staff were doing things for them, and they now know that it's beneficial to, to let the clients do things for themselves individually, get some enjoyment out of helping and helping other clients as well. So some of the biggest challenges for the staff have been allowing the people to, I've actually had to ask the staff to stop and reflect 
on what they're doing and why they're doing it and can the client actually do that themselves and, and if we have to keep that reflection ongoing almost weekly because it's very easy for people and it's easier for staff to fall back and make the tea and the coffee, take away the dirty dishes, you know, and have everybody in a group, everybody participating in the same thing. So now we even have clients who make suggestions. So I suggested, I said, why don't you have a, a dance? Music livens people up. But that's how I'd started, by me bringing that here with an Elvis Presley week. And I'll bring it now every so often. Use knowledge of each person to create activities that reflect their interests and strengths. Identify interests and strengths that people have in common to create shared activities. Meaningful roles support self-esteem, identity and purpose. What interests are shared by people within your social group? How might you use knowledge about shared interests to develop shared activities? What roles can be undertaken by the person with dementia within the social group and at home? What opportunities can you create for a person living with dementia to engage in activities with children or younger people? How can you work together to achieve goals that are important to the person with dementia?